In this class, we're going to be using the command line to download certain files from a website called GitHub. And downloading one or two files at a time is actually pretty difficult to do in GitHub. There's, they actually provide no way of doing it at all. You either get all the files or, or none. So when your instructor assigns a project that includes, for example, a data file or maybe some starter code, uh, they're going to give you instructions to go into the terminal and use something called wget. So let's make sure that that gets installed on your machine. So here's our first example. This is to install the script that will create empty projects for you. Notice there's wget, and if you type in into a terminal wget, it says it's not found. Well, uh, the way to install it uh, is with brew. So Google installing brew and you should see that as your first hit. Click on that and right there is how to install brew. Triple click at the beginning of the line, copy and paste. And hit return. This is going to take a long time. Hit return again. This is going to take a long time. So uh, I'm going to skip forward. It's a few minutes later now, and installing Brew has finished. So if you type in Brew Update, it'll say, hey, it's already up to date. So now let's finally get wget. So Brew, and now Brew, install, wget. And Brew, the package manager, uh, will now do what's necessary to install the Brew, uh, scar sorry, the install the wget package. This won't take uh, near as long as the last operation, but it does take a little while. Now, why is Brew called Brew? Well, I've got no idea, and uh, probably it's documented somewhere, but I'll just assume it's because uh, the people behind this project uh, like beer. So we're waiting for the uh, wget to finish installing. It has finished. If you type in wget, it's now present.